you speak a little bit more about fatigue and MPNs? Walking just a short distance wears her legs out and they feel like concrete pillars. Mm, absolutely. Fatigue is overwhelmingly the most common symptom that we hear about in, in MPNs and very much so in, in myelofibrosis. And this overproduction of these cells that we've been talking about in the bone marrow, whether you have anemia or not, you're still overproducing cells. You have a hypercellular uh, process. And in addition to these uh, blood cells, other um, non-specific proteins called cytokines are being overproduced um, by the, the the mutation that's that's impacting the, this um, uh, abnormal cellular production, and they have a big impact on um, fatigue. They make you feel like uh, flu-like, almost achy, very tired, may cause bone pain, night sweats, and so the fatigue could be from those cytokines. It certainly can be from anemia to some degree. And when people are having abdominal and spleen symptoms, sometimes they're not eating as well. So um, nutritional impact can, can uh, be playing, playing a role here. So I think it can be very much multifactorial um, where uh, all of this is kind of snowballing to cause extreme fatigue. Even being tired, so then you're less active. So then you become weaker because you're less active, and so that can become cyclical. So, the, um, you know, I, I hear Janet that her legs feel like concrete and, and heavy. Um, so, you, you know, you've, to reverse uh, that or manage it as best as you can, talk with your healthcare team about how, how well is my disease under control, because ultimately controlling your disease is going to help control the symptoms. Do I have cytopenias, low blood counts like anemia that could be contributing to this fatigue. And then you've got to look at, at, at your lifestyle. Are there things that I can do if I spent a fair amount of time being so weak and tired that I got deconditioned? Are there things that I can work with a nutritionist or a, a, a trainer uh, to help me get some of that muscle back to slowly build up that strength again? It's a, it's a long and, and difficult battle, but I, you know, I, I encourage people to you know, remain optimistic and keep fighting through these symptoms to the best of their abilities um, so they can, you know, thrive with these diseases. You have to also have realistic uh, expectations. You know, we're not going to have Janet sign up for a marathon, but if we can help her with those legs so they don't feel so heavy and she can get up and down the stairs or, or go down to the mailbox, you know, that's going to be a huge achievement. <laughs>